Anyways, that was an interruption. But yeah, Home Alone 3, this is where the story starts going downhill. Because, you know, it's not really a Home Alone movie anymore. It's like a Spy Kids kind of shit. The traps are okay, the acting's okay, but it's not really... This is where they start getting away from the spirit of Home Alone. Anyways. I like the... Actually, I like the one with the, the bathroom where he shoots the thing and then, you know, it comes spilling downstairs. That was gross, but also funny at the same time. Anyways. I also like the toy. Eh, the toy car had nothing. To, it made the movie a little more interesting, but it didn't really matter, in my opinion. You know? So that's why I put it out there. Okay, Home Alone 5. Better than the fourth one, but not really that good. This is part two of the video, though. Because, you know, I don't have enough storage on my device, I guess. But yeah, Home Alone 5. Yeah. It was okay. It was man to me. It had Malcolm McDowell in it. <laughs> At all. I mean, he, was, he, was, he did okay in this movie. Definitely better than... Um, Marvin Vera. But honestly, the only one I knew was Malcolm McDowell. I didn't know anyone else as the burglar. At least in like the first four movies, I know all the burglars. Marv, Harry. The guy that looks like Moe from The Three Stooges. Alice Ribbons. Unger. I think that was his name, right? Oh yeah, Unger was his name, yeah. And I forgot the other two guys that were in this movie. In the third movie, but... In the Home Alone 5, I, I literally forgot all the burglars except the one that was Malcolm McDowell. So basically it was about them breaking into a safe and shit. And yeah, that's basically it. And, you know, he wasn't Home Alone really. He had his sister with him. It doesn't count. You're not Home Alone in a Home Alone movie unless you're actually Home Alone. Which, like, the only one that has that is the first movie, to be honest. Like, the whole way through the first movie. Because in the third one, Miss Hess comes later on, technically. So, it doesn't count. And in Home Alone 4, you know... Kevin has a butler, I guess, with him, so... It doesn't count either. It's also, Home Alone 4 Kevin is not the real Kevin. I have a theory that that's a generic Kevin that has nothing to do with the series. Anyways. Home Alone 5, yeah. The tracks were kind of bad, I'm not gonna lie. They were kind of generic. They were like Home Alone 4's traps, I'm not gonna lie. Like, honestly, the only the only movies that had, like, actually fun traps were, like, the first three movies. After that, it was like, what the fuck is this? And the sixth movie I can't do yet because I didn't watch it yet. But, you know, this is my list. And anyways, peace. I'm going to upload uh, part one and part two of these videos today. Anyways, bye.